What's going on dorks? Welcome back to your one-stop shop for everything dork and collectible. Today we're going to be checking out this Duke figure from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Looking at the box here, we get a really cool, almost classic looking image of uh, Duke. On the side we get another shot. Whoops. We get another shot of the Duke. We Like all the boxes, they come with this sweet background shot of all the various figures that hopefully they're doing all these in the line. We get a little side shot here. And there he is. Alright, now that we've looked at him in the box, let's crack him open. Starting off with uh, Duke's accessories, we get the backpack that just ports right onto Duke's back. Looks nice. I appreciate that they used a different color for the shovel on his back instead of making it all flat green. He's got various pouches on here. Looking good. Next up we got his little sidearm pistol. He does come with a holster which is really appreciated that at least it's not stagnant in there that you can't take it out. Nice looking pistol. Next up, we got his rifle, looking very nice. I love the the blue here and the gold. His little scopes, his foregrip, magazine stock, looking very nice. The only thing that would have made this gun any cooler is if the magazine could come out. All right, all right. Here's all of Duke's accessories together. And unfortunately, I could not find his binoculars. I'm going to have to uh, take a look through all of my various uh, heads and hands and guns to try and hunt down those binoculars. Alright, now that we've taken a look at all of his accessories, let's take a look at Duke. Man, guys, taking a look at this Duke figure, I am so freaking impressed of what Hasbro did with this line. They went above and beyond what I was expecting from these Joes. And uh, yeah, let's take a further look. So starting off with the uh, head articulation. He seems to have two uh, points of articulation. One down here in the lower neck. And then he's got a ball joint up here. Which really enhances his movement. He could look down incredibly far. And up even more so. He's got a lot of head tilting. You could spin it full 360. Alright, that's gonna do it for the head. For his arms, we could get a full 360 on both arms. We get about... We get a pretty nice T pose right there. We get a... Actually, we get butterfly joints in the shoulders. Which, are, which makes it very nice when you're trying to get them to hold the gun with two hands and look down sights. Makes it a lot easier. Wish that was painted though, the same beige as his whole uh, t-shirt. Uh, we get a uh, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows which bend in past the 90 degree point. Wrist that it spin fully, hinge in, does the other one as well. Uh, yeah, it does. Also, we get two gun holding hits on Duke. And next up, we. Oh, also, talking about this little bandolier slash belt for Duke. It's really nice that they made it out of this soft material. A little annoying when you're trying to pose them around, but at least they didn't make it hard so you couldn't get this ab crunch out of them. Bend back even more so, crunch forward. Any diaphragm? Not much. We could spin around full 360 at the waist. Same thing as the bandolier as with his waist belt. Really pliable material spin around for me. 
and that is that port right there is where the uh, binoculars were plugged in this back port is for the backpack checking that out ports in nicely I prefer them with no backpack but it's your choice for his leg articulation you can kick out well past the 90 degree point we've got double jointed knees which can't quite kick himself in the butt we get up an upper thigh cut also I think we get a little hint of some drop down hips let me know what you guys think if that counts I think it does also continuing the trend with really pliable material we got his holster for his pistol Whoops. and that just slides in real nice I really like his uh, his little shin guard slash knee pad situation he has going on very cool we do have beautiful ankle pivot which is very amazing we get that much foot movement upward more downward the shoes lots of detail we got the laces I love all of the pockets on this figure you just got pockets everywhere all right also we do have peg holes on the bottom of the feet also looking at his head sculpt I don't know about you guys but I kind of get uh, Chris Evans slash Channing Tatum vibes from him slash standard white guy with a army crew cut let me know what you guys think now that we've checked out the figure let's uh, get some measurements and compare them to some other figures for our Duke figure he is standing pretty much at the six inch point Here's Duke next to our retro card Spider-Man figure from Hasbro as well. Standing pretty much at the same height. And here we have Duke standing next to the Jon Stewart Green Lantern from McFarland Toys. Alrighty dorks, that's going to do it for me on this figure review. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more figure reviews from me. Also, leave a comment down below if uh, you're as surprised and pleased of these G.I. Joe classified figures as I am. And don't forget to drop a like on this video. Thank you. Goodbye.